Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you Luca Paguro from the Luca series. And Luca Paguro has the exact same drop rates as Maylin Lee. So if you're trying to get Luca, this is a good time because it is lucky time for a couple more days here. But if you miss him uh, right now, there's still an opportunity at the end of June where all of the new streams are going to be in lucky time. All right, so let's get into it and take a look at Luca Paguro. The ability description is high scoring zooms appear that can be cleared with Luca. So essentially it's one of those zooms where you need to make a really long chain during the animation to get a really high score. That's going to be his ability. So his stats is that you're going to need a total of 14 Lucas cleared off the screen before you can activate his ability. Minimum score is 110 with a maximum score of 943. So from a scoring perspective, He's pretty good, especially if you can make a really long chain really quickly, then Luca is a good zoom for that. You'll likely need to get Luca to skill level, or not skill level 6, but a level 50 uh, for him to be effective. And you also need to be a fast player. So if you're a fast player and could connect really long chains and spot those really long chains, then Luca is a good option for getting a high score. And if you want to get Luca to skill level 6, you're going to need a total of 32 copies of him to get him to skill level 6. All right, so if you're enjoying this type of content where I review zooms and do monthly leaks, please consider subscribing. Your subscription really helps me out a lot on this channel. I really appreciate it. All right, so let's get into it and take a look at the skill chart on the bottom right hand corner. So like I mentioned, there are two things that are going to be different with Luca Paguro's ability. So first is going to be the skill range and number two is the score multiplier. The higher the skill level, the higher the multiplier is going to be. Essentially, every skill level that you increase will be an additional 0.2 multiplier to your score. So at skill level 1, which is the base rate, it's going to be a score multiplier of 2 with a skill range of extra small. But if you can get him to skill level 6, the multiplier is going to be times 3 and the skill range is going to be extra, extra large. Alright, another thing I want to show you guys is a side-by-side -side comparison of all three of the gameplays at skill level 1, 2, and 3. So again, there are two different things here. For skill level 1, the skill range is going to be extra small with a multiplier of 2. And then for skill level 2, the skill range is going to be small with a multiplier of 2.2. And then for skill level 3, a skill range of medium with a score multiplier of 2.4. Now, it's not going to be very clear on the score multiplier until the very end when the results come out. But at the same time, the score is not going to be definitive either because as I play these gameplays, my level does increase. But for the most part, these are my first attempts. So the skill is gonna be different, but the score are gonna be relatively close or a good comparison uh, because all of these gameplays are lower levels. For skill level two and three, I only have Luca Paguro at level two. Uh, for skill level one, first attempt, so level one. But what you can see is the skill range and that's gonna be a little bit different. And also about the skill range is that it's always going to be in that same area. I know some of the different zooms that we have, uh, the changes are going to vary depending on where you activate the ability. But for Luca, it's always going to come from the center left area and it's going to ride the moped to the bottom right hand corner. So the strategy here when you're using Luca is you want to try to make sure that that bottom section has a lot of zooms before you activate the ability. You want to be able to change as many zooms into Lucas and zooms that can be connected with Luca as much as possible. Another thing you want to try to do is once you activate the ability, don't just focus on clearing that bottom section, but try to see if there is a mini chain that can be connected into the Lucas. So if you have zooms in the surrounding area, try to tie those in that didn't get changed as well, because not only do those count towards a long chain, but they also count as a charge up. So if you need to get like, let's say 14 for the charge up for the next ability, you now only need 12 if you clear two. So they count towards your skill for the next charge up. Another tip that I have for you guys when you're using Luca is have one magic bubble handy. Unfortunately, the magic bubble for me, for the most part, are always at the bottom of the gameplay, which sometimes impede with my ability. Uh, so have one bubble handy and the reason for that is you want to make sure the animation skips after you connect that long chain. You save about 1 to 2 seconds if you do that. If not, you lose about 2 to 3 seconds of gameplay. And generally this tip works for a lot of the zooms that we have. Essentially, popping a magic bubble after the ability will skip the animation. 
All right, so what I also want to show you guys is a side by side comparison of the ability activated at the same time. This is the ability in full time. So what I'm going to do is slow it down so I can show you some of the things that I use for these specific game demonstrations. So like I mentioned, Luca is going to come out on the left center area to the bottom right hand corner. So you'll notice that for scale level 1 and 3, I do have a magic bubble at the bottom of the screen. But in this case, it's okay. If the bubbles are at the very, very bottom, it typically doesn't get in the way of Luca's ability. However, as you level up your Luca to scale level 4, 5, and 6, that magic bubble will get in the way. So there's really not much you could do about it unless your bubble's at the very top section of the screen. But you'll notice that for scale level 1, I have two bubbles. So that's going to make it a lot easier to skip through the animation. And you'll notice that for scale level 1, the skill range is extra small. So the bands is a little bit small. For the most part, it's about two zooms thick. Whereas for scale level 3, you have three to four. So it, it is going to get a lot thicker as you level up your Luka. So let's play it through here and let me show you what I did next here. You'll notice that for scale level 1, I have two of those Luka at the top left hand corner. So what I end up doing is I'm going to connect those two as well. And that's what you should strive to do is that you should try to see what other Lucas are in the area. And that way you could connect additional uh, chains to make it even longer. You'll see that for skill level one and skill level two, I've got both 17 chains. Uh, and that's because I connected extra ones for skill level one. For skill level two, I didn't do that. So therefore, uh, I wasn't able to get a longer chain than skill level one. So that's going to vary depending on what zooms you have on the screen as well. And as for skill level 3, I ended up with a chain of 23. I probably could have gotten a little bit more if I connected them properly, but I didn't in this case. And you notice that for skill level 2, I didn't have a bubble ready. So I wasn't able to speed up the animation and pop it and let all the zooms fall down quickly. But for skill level 1 and 3, I did have that. So I was able to speed through the animation. It does make a pretty big difference. But if you have a magic, if you don't have a magic bubble handy, then it is what it is, and there's not much you can really do about it. So overall, I think Luca is not that great of a zoom. So if you don't have a lot of coins saved up, there's really not much you could do with Luca. It's not going to help you improve on your coins, and in terms of score, it's not that amazing either. Even at level 50 and at skill level 6, it, there are still going to be better zooms that can outperform Luca. So for that reason, I would say save your coins and don't invest in Luka. But if you are in need of a Zoom that could connect a really long chain, Luka is not a bad option for that. But like I mentioned, there are still going to be better Zooms that you can use for that. For example, Mainland Lee this month is going to be a lot better at making long chains than Luka will be. But if you got Luka and you don't have a lot of coins to invest in and you have a mission that requires you to make a really long chain, you can use Luka for that. But overall, I wouldn't necessarily spend my coins or skill tickets on Luca. Regardless, let me show you the results for these three gameplays. For skill level 1, I ended up with 1059 coins. Skill level 2, I got 1102. For skill level 3, I got 1339. So as you can see here, from a coin earning perspective, not amazing. And the increase is very minimal as well. So not really worth investing from a coin perspective. And from a high scoring perspective, Skill level 1, I got 2.9, so very close to 3. Uh, skill level 2, I got 3.3. And skill level 3, I got 4.1. So even from a scoring perspective, it's not going to be amazing at the lower levels. You're going to need to get Luca to level 50 uh, before it, he could be really effective or at least better. But like I mentioned throughout this entire video, is that there is going to be better zooms you can invest in than Luca. So save your coins. All right, guys. So that's my review for Luca Paguro. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video or at least found it entertaining. And if you guys would like to see more Sim Sim content just like this, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching.